it depends on Mike what you think is happening in the background. So to the outside look at, from the outside looking in, it appears to be, hey, let's put him on leave, no money, and then we intend to let him go. Now, some people say, okay, this is the school's way of giving him notice. In his contract, he has a clause that says he can be fired for just cause. It means a lot of things, NCA violations, criminal convictions, things like that. If they do that, they have to give him 10 days notice. He has to be able to present evidence to the contrary, and then maybe they can let him go. There is no buyout in his contract, shocking as that is. So at this point, it could be the school saying, let's put him on the sidelines. This is kind of his notice, and then in a couple days, we're going to let him go. But what this really, I, I think that gives him a leg up, because right now, if you look at it from his camp's perspective, what has he done wrong? Forget about the court of public opinion and what you think he's done. He's not named in this suit. He's not being penalized for anything. He's not under NCA investigation because there hasn't been an investigation yet because the NCA just found out about it on Tuesday. So at this point, what he's doing is they're sitting him on the sidelines and basically trying to figure this whole thing out and find a way, it sounds like from the school's perspective, to fire him without having to pay him a lot of money.